So we're still looking at the colored points example. Just to remind you, we're in chapter two of the web programming guide. It's the last one, 2.5 colored points. What we've already done is we've done some cleanup on this code. So we've cleaned up the shaders so that we don't have all this slash in so that we're not confused by that. We've, at, we've moved some things into global variables here. We have a setup WebGL function where we've just taken the stuff that sets up WebGL, moved it into this function. We've taken the setup GLSL stuff, moved it into a function. So we're left with a main, which is much easier to understand. We've set up WebGL, we connect everything to GLSL. And the, really the thing that's happening in this program is we've said that whenever I click in the canvas, click, 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 whenever there's a click, we run the click command, which is, which is our click command. Uh, and then we clear the screen and then we, our main exits and it just sits here and waits for us to click so that we call this click command. So now, we're ready to take a look at what's going on inside this click command. So what do we have? Here's our click command. This first section here of the click command is really about um, converting coordinate systems. So what do I mean by that? The X, Y of my screen, I have maybe 1920 by 1080 on my screen, but my canvas has zero to 400. Uh, in terms of the pixels, and it's offset a little bit from the edge of this web page, right? You can see right on this edge over here, it's offset from the edge of the web page. And our WebGL is framed to be negative one to one. Remember when we were setting the point earlier, when I set it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it ended up around about this location right here. So we need to convert these. So this is just some math to convert between these two different coordinate systems. The one that comes in the event and the one that we need to use for WebGL, which is going to come out in this XY. The second section here is going to store our information. So G points is going to be a variable, and we're just going to push the XY. We're just going to keep track of where did, where did we click. And we're also going to store the color. So we're going to keep track of what's the color that we're going to store. So we're going to have a G colors variable, and we're going to push into it. Now here, this little piece of code here, it's just an if statement that's saying which quadrant you are, which color to push. We're going to change that around. But it's saying, you know, if you're down here, put, put the color green. And if you're up here, put the color red. And keep track of it in our, in our list. Then this section down here is about rendering the points. So after we've kept track of what's going on with the click, we're going to take everything in all of our lists and draw them all again. So we've added one on the end. And instead of drawing just that one, we're going to draw them all. And we'll come back to talking about why should we do this. So what I want to do for right now is just clean this up a little bit, just like I did before. I'm going to move this conversion into a separate function. And I'm going to move this render into a separate function. And then we're going to talk about those separately. Okay, so here we go. I've now pulled out these sections into separate functions. So here are the things that do the conversion. Here are the things that do the rendering. I move them down in my code. And if I look at my click, I now just have one line for turning the event into my XY coordinates. I have the real meat of this click function, which is doing something. And I have another line which renders all the shapes that we have stored so far. And we have them stored here in these global variables. So I'm going to come back and talk about each of these things in the next videos.